focus for the week. Come on in and join me. I'm just on Instagram tonight, so give me a hello. Hey, Paul, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Making sure it's showing up, letting everybody come in. Got to talk about the energy going on this week. What's up in the cosmos and where we are right now and how you can set your energy for the week ahead. So come on in and join me. Share it out. Give me some thumbs up. Let me know how you're doing. Lighting a little sage. Just taking a few moments to bring our energies in. Talk about the cosmos. And join our forces together. Hey, Carla, how are you? Yeah. So you had a full moon yesterday. Big old Virgo moon. What a beautiful moon. All the way up till this morning. Just really beautiful energy coming in. That Virgo energy reminding us of the service that we do, of the work that we put out into the universe. And all of that energy. Pisces energy, which we're in the season of. Pisces helps us to really take that intuitive energy and open up to that intuitive energy to go deep. Here we are right now. We're coming like towards the end of winter. We're deep inside. We've been looking at our dreams, looking at our visions, and now we're going to actually start to come out into the world. We're getting ready for spring. We're getting ready to bring it out into the world so that we can all begin to manifest that's what we do in the spring. So you might start to even notice. Maybe you are noticing like the shift in the light, the difference in the days, how things are changing and shifting. You might even have a little bit of that feel of like wanting to come out because now the soul and the spirit is starting to wake up so that we can come out into the world at large. So the energy of the moon yesterday, some call it the snow moon, right? I mean, luckily here in the South, we actually had beautiful weekend weather. We actually got out, we were in the community doing some yoga. So good to get out, things are changing and shifting. Nothing is looking the same as it was, especially a year ago. But this moon right now, this full moon between the Pisces energy of being the deep old wise soul of the Zodiac, it's right Right at the end of the zodiac it's taking us deep it's taking it into, into our subconscious and you may even be feeling a little bit challenged like that like we talked about on the podcast this week great episode amazing young woman Haley castellano it's all about like her spiritual awakening it's sometimes when we come into this time of year coming out of spring i mean winter into spring we can feel like what's going on and sometimes a spiritual awakening can even make you feel a little like mental like what are these messages am i making making this up? Am I going a little crazy? But it doesn't have to be. And when you find the ability to tap into your spirit and start listening to your intuition, start understanding how you process your energy, so much more can awaken. And the thing is, as we were talking about in the podcast, you don't have to do this alone. Not having a teacher to guide you through can be very shaky. I've heard it all the time. People come in, they've been drug tested, they've been put in the hospital. People think they're crazy, but really they're just waking up to the senses and to, and to their intuitive abilities. Now, I'm not saying everybody that has mental issues is having a spiritual waking and vice versa, but... You do need to check in because it is a very fine line. And that's why we really do. We want to work with the spiritual teacher. We want to go in and learn more about our spirit. We want to understand the soul's journeys. The thing is, winter is all about opening up to dreams and visions, your ancestral energy, the generational energy, even your soul energy. So sometimes all of that energy combined very deep inside. And as we start to open up and come into that new season, we can feel a little bit like, am I making all this up? Am I really making this up? Am I getting these messages? Like, what are your dreams lately? Have you noticed them? My mind have been so lucid in those early morning hours. And that's where we can feel a little bit of what is the difference in those vibrations? What's the difference in the dimensions of time and space? So when you work with a spiritual teacher, when you learn about your own spirit, you'll be able to access lots more information, all right? You'll be able to see images. You'll be able to hear your guidance. And then taking these tools into your everyday life is amazing what you can do for your work, for your career, for your business. All of these things help 
help you to know. And as you know, I talk about all the time, trust your gut, trust your intuition. So as we come into this final part, few more weeks of winter, we start to open up to this deep Pisces energy, knowing that wise energy of our soul is very important. All right. And then the energy of that full moon is like asking you, what is my service? What is my work for the world right now? Am I in alignment or do I need to shift it up? And this is like one of the best times to start shifting it up. Now, I will say astrologically, all the planets, yay, are all in a direct motion. And we're going to see this all the way through into April. So this is actually the time to start listening to your intuition, to start really feeling into those changes that you want to make, to start making some plans because we have all of this direct force of energy. So it is a really great time to start really bringing those dreams out of the subconscious and into the physical plane. All right, that's exactly what spring is all about, right? We plant new seeds, we put our energy out there, we bring it into the physical world, and our spirit is called to open up, to come out more, whereas winter, even that fall energy pulls us in. So sometimes this can be the hardest season transition from the winter into the spring. We go deep, we're inside of ourselves. We can feel sluggish on the physical realm. So we want to start to open up. We want to start to use our tools, find that mindset. Really, mindset's a big key and find ways to open up to come out into the spring. The tendency is to sometimes stay in that darker place, right? And so I've seen it, and especially the world that we've had these last year, depression is really rampant right now. So really, spiritual tools and spirituality and meditation and yoga, these are some of the things, getting outside, getting in nature, all right, we were doing that today, these are some of the things that can help you awaken to this new period. And again, as we move through this next month, so many of the planets are in that direct motion. We are moving forward. So we really want to harness that energy, use the cosmic forces, align that energy for you so that you can strengthen that mindset. You can strengthen your ability to open up into the world with new ideas, pivot your work, and all the things you're doing. Use the cosmic forces. I like to say, like, remember, you're the source of your creation. If you can think it, you can create it. And it all starts in that energetic realm. It really does. All right, so as we start the week out, We've been in this Virgo energy. Tomorrow, we're in what we call a void, of course, all right? So we're kind of neither here nor there. The moon is moving through phases. So just start to work on the release energy. Anything that's not going, you know, from where you set those new moon intentions, clean out, clear up, let that energy go. And then as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to have the moon in Libra. Libra's our balance. Reestablish your balance, reestablish the way you're looking at the world, reestablish your plans, your goals, all right? And then Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, we've got some of that Scorpio energy. That's some of that intensity, that sting energy. It's also fire. So it's a good time to put a little fire under yourself to help you wake up and move out into the world. Friday, we're opening up to some of that Sag energy. That's that our adventurous nature. So that's going to help us move into the weekend. So what are you noticing? Let me know. Post below. What are you noticing? Are you noticing the shift in light? Are you noticing the dreams? That's really where you want to be right now. What are your dreams? What are your visions? So that you can know what you want to shift. All right, really important. As we talked about on the podcast, it really was. It was all about a spiritual awakening, really opening up to finding that wholesome part of who you are, the way in which you eat, the way in which you think, the way in which you have a spiritual practice, the way in which you use your mental clarity. All of these things can come together now as we open up and move into the new season. So it's a great time to build your practice. It's a great time to do some energy work, do some clearing, come in for a session. Always a great time. Clear the energy out, leave that old stuff in the winter so that you can find a newness, a freshness. That's what spring is about, that renewal energy. And open up to the parts that you want to open up so that you can pivot your work. So check it out. I do lots of readings online, energy medicine. I've been studying for the past year. Great, great new techniques, working in gamma consciousness. You can see it in the bio. Schedule a call, schedule a session with me. Let's clear this away so that you can find the alignment for where you are as we move into that new season. All right, so let's take a moment with that in mind. Let me know how that resonates with you before we get to the cards, and let's just center our energy. If you're my Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook, on Monday mornings, I've been doing more longer energy meditation 
working with the gamma consciousness in these absolute scale of ways. Come join me over there in the group. All right, so wherever you are, if you can, take a nice deep inhale and exhale and just start to bring your energy in, pulling it in. Inhaling up the body and exhaling all the way back down. Taking this time to align your energy, calling in your spirit, presencing that energy for you, connecting with the greater spirit, source, God, creator, however you see it for yourself. Dropping into the heart and just feel that alignment right into your heart. Calling in all the spiritual beings around you, the Reiki masters, the angels, the crystal beings, the elementals. Calling them in and just feel yourself surrounded with this light. As you breathe up the body, opening up into the higher realms. And as you exhale, bring this beautiful vibration of light. You are the source of your light. Bring it in, connecting with this. Feeling that gamma consciousness, all you have to do is ask. Bring in this beautiful consciousness, this ray of light. Centering your energy, grounding. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. So you look to the energy, the medicine wheel. We find ourselves in the direction of the north. We go into our dreams, our visions. We open up to that guidance for the generational energies of our families. And we take this time to know where we are in our own path, calling in to the north, the east, the south, and the west, above us, below us, right into the very center of your own heart, setting an intention for you for this week and begin to see that intention right into that third eye energy see it hear it feel it know it all that energy for you this week what are you setting what are your plans and just allow those elevated emotions of joy of peace however you want to feel as these intentions come in Just send it out into the universe. Let it radiate all around you. Just sending energy out to you. And allow it to radiate out, out into the universe. Inhaling. And exhaling. Setting that energy for you this week. Feeling yourself grounding in that energy all around you. Taking another deep inhale and exhale. Bringing the awareness back as we open up to the cards. Guidance for this week. I love this card, the fool. It's not so much about being a fool, but having that innocence to step out, to take that next step forward in your life. Great card for the spring energy. Where can you pivot? Where can you take that next step? When this card shows up, it's like the universe is saying, we got your back. Now's the time to make some shifts and changes. So we're starting to gather this energy as we come out of the spring. I mean, out of the winter, I'm already there, and into the spring, gathering that energy to take that next step forward, to have the courage. So we choose three cards. Maybe you could choose one, two, or three to see where you are exactly with this focus for this week. The first card is the Ace of Pentacles, but it is reversed, all right? So this is saying that there is something new in the physical plane coming forward. It's still under the surface, all right? So it's asking you, what do you need to do to turn this around to take that next step? This is the physical world. This is a new beginning. So is it mindset shift that you need, which is the next card, the Nine of Swords. Never a favorite card. All right, this is all about not getting caught in the drama, not getting caught in the mental chatter of the mind. So this is exactly what we need to turn this around. 
really stay strong. Do some mindset work. Do some tapping. You know me, I'm a big tapper. Clear out any doubt that you have. Clear this away. Clear away the drama so that you can turn this around. Take that next step forward. Now, it's interesting we got the next card, which is our Ten of Pentacles, which is like our fulfillment card. Are you happy with where you are? And this is like, if you're not, bring it to a close. This is the time to bring it to a close, right as we're coming out of the, the winter. I keep saying out of the spring. As we come out of the winter and into the spring, this is a time to really look and say, am I fulfilled? And if you're not, this is the time to start thinking about that next step. Now, it doesn't mean you have to go out and do it tomorrow, all right? We don't have to rush. We don't have to rush at all. Divine timing is where we want to be, but we want to do the work to get there. Time to think about that next step. What is it you need to do in order to take that next step for a new beginning? Get out of the drama. That's probably the best card for all of us. Get out of the mental chatter. Clear it up. Remember, you create your own you create your own desires. You create the own energy you want. You're that source of creation. Be a co-creator to your light. Don't get caught in the mental chatter of the mind. That's what talks us out of everything. And then ask yourself, as you're coming to the end of the season, are you fulfilled? Is this what you're prepared to do for the spring? It's a great time to clear it up and really clear it out as well. All right, so taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. Let me know how that resonates for you. Great podcast this week. It really was with Haley Castellano talking about spiritual awakenings. Check it out. I do have a Reiki 2 class coming up in March. Don't forget to sign up. I am doing a few people in person, so if you want it in person, let me know. Otherwise, we will do virtual as well. And if you're ready to create a new spiritual business, all right, you've got your tools, you've got some skills, but you don't know how to put together, get on the wait list. The link is in my bio. All right, the Empowered Spirit Business School. Super excited to come out with that in April, not too far away. Cards, all right, Marissa and Mark. All right, Marissa, the first card for you is the Son of Cups. All right, so this is kind of an interesting, I said it was for you, but this is that love of the heart. Like really being determined to open your heart to love, to bring it forward, have that emotional energy. Don't be afraid of that emotional energy, but really being really in that heart and just letting that radiate out, all right? Great card. I love it because it brings a little bit of the masculine with the feminine, but the opening of the heart. So this one is for Mark. This is a strength card. All right. So this is all about like having the strength and the courage to make some changes, to pivot. Infinite potential is right there for you. All right. So it's actually talking about courage. Courage to step up. Courage to really know who you are and open up into the world. All right. So we got some love there and we've got some courage and strength always love this card because of the infinite potential. All right, good cards for both of you guys. Yay, let me know how that resonates. All right, if you'd like a card, let me know as well. All right. Yeah, so those are some good cards for us to work with this week, especially that new season energy coming forward. All right, let's see. Let me know if anybody else would like a card. I do have a Reiki 2 class coming up, like I mentioned. Check out the bio for all the amazing things coming up. All right, I ah, love it. All right, good. All right, let's see. Sarah, let me know if you want a card. Paul, how about a card for you? We did not get a chance to draw cards today. All right. All right, y'all. So we do have a very great time coming up as we move into this next month. We're going to see things slowing down a little bit. We're going to see all the planets moving direct motion, which is a great way to move through this month. So do some planning, do some work that you want to do and start to see yourself opening up into the spring season that is ahead. All right. We've had another request over here. We have the daughter all right, Jane, we have the Daughter of Wands. This is about having that passion and desire, bringing that forward. Innocence, definitely. All right, anybody else let me know. Carla, Carla, we have the Four of Cups. So this is about that energy of really finding the gratitude, opening the heart, really appreciating all the many things in your life. This is a gratitude card. All right, gratitude always goes a long way. So make sure that you really are honoring all the many things going on in your life. Open your heart, feel those emotions. I love that idea. And being grateful for that energy as well. All right. Yay. Let me know how that resonates, Carla. Looks like you've had some fun lately. All right. So we do need gratitude all the time. It helps us to move forward in our lives. Get out of that chatter of the mind. Open up to the energy of grounding your energy to pivot your work and know that spring is coming a time of renewal. All right. So let's just take a moment. Close the energy, take a nice deep inhale, 
If you're listening to this later, give me a hashtag replay or just know that these cards are for you as well. Inhaling and exhaling. Grounding the energy all the way down. Feeling that connection with Mother Earth. Pulling your energy in as you open up to this week. Inhaling, returning to that intention that you set. Let it radiate out. You're welcome, Carla. Thanks again for joining me. This is your host, Terri Ann Hyman, to your spirit. Have a great week. Namaste.